Hi everyone, in this video we'll discuss some cool ESP32 projects. So let's get started. You might have seen a line follower robot before, but was that one faster than this? Nope, the video's not fast forwarded, it's the actual speed of the robot. To start with, Ravi used only those components that were lightweight so that the overall weight of the bot was reduced. Next, he relied on the PID controller that was fast enough to keep the bot on the correct path. It works by regularly checking the robot's deviation from the mean position, and based on this error value, the steering value is calculated. The bot ran with a top speed of 1 meter per second. In this project, Max took a regular Hot Wheels toy car and transformed it into a micro FPV RC car. It was a challenging task for him to put all the necessary electronics inside the miniature model, but it was worth the efforts in the end. He used two ESP32 boards for the task, hence two servers. One provides an interface for controlling the car movement, whereas the other takes care of the live video feed with ESP32 cam sending a motion JPEG stream. He then placed the mobile with the live video feed in a VR headset and used the other one as a controller. For creating the camera server, he trusted the Seed Studio's Zhao ESP32 S3 Sense, which has a 2 megapixel camera and supports SD cards up to 32 gigabytes to run video streaming applications easily. This board can convert any ordinary oven into a reflow oven. Yes, you heard that right. Made by maker Moikoi and powered by ESP32 S2, this is one of the best projects we've seen so far. He took an ordinary oven, removed the oven's original control knobs, and replaced it with this custom-designed PCB board. The PCB includes sensor inputs, outputs, buzzers, and other SMD components. The OLED display and three push buttons give him the option to use the oven as a standalone device but it can also be programmed to work with apps on your smartphone. He also added an acrylic glass over the control board that not only adds a layer of protection, but it enhances the oven's overall look. GoKix tried to make a screw-propelled vehicle that's basically a cylinder with a helical structure. As compared to normal wheels, these screw wheels provide better traction in rough terrains. These wheels are connected to two DC geared motors placed on either side of the chassis. To make it a remotely operable vehicle, a tiny Xiao ESP32 S3 Sense that supports 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and low power Bluetooth BLE 5.0 is used. And with its plug-in OV2640 camera sensor, you can record a video in a full 1600 by 1200 resolution. From the web server, you can view the live stream as well as control the bot. Some DIY weather solutions only monitor temperature, pressure, and humidity levels, but this one made by Giovanni also measures wind speed, its direction, and the amount of rainfall. Instead of buying, he built his own anemometer, wind flag, and rain gauge in his lab and installed everything over his roof. The sensor readings can either be viewed locally on an LCD or a web server, thus giving you the freedom to view them from anywhere. If you think that the RC car made by Max was a bit difficult of a project for you, then here's a simpler version made by Techizums. What's cool about this robocar, you ask? Well, this PCB is holding all the parts of the car together. It's essentially the custom-built chassis of the car. The bottom layer consists of two geared DC motors with a motor drive module. Over this layer lies a battery charging circuit. To hide these connections, a final layer is added to the top, which completes the assembly of the robot, giving it an overall dimension of 100mm by 90mm. The ESP32 S3 sense is placed at the front and streams the video to the web server, and using the buttons, you can control the bot from anywhere. Seeing flap clocks in action is a fun thing to watch. Usually, these clocks consist of two or three segments. Doc 
Dr. Tonus took this concept to the next level by adding 24 segments to his clock with each segment consisting of 64 flaps. It took him nearly seven months to convert his concept into a working model. And after seeing it work, we feel that his hard work paid off. So far, we've explored some excellent projects created with Seed Studio's tiny ESP32-S3. It's a game changer among ESP32 boards, especially for camera-based applications and basic ML projects. With its state-of-the-art dual-core ESP32-S3 chip, detachable camera sensor, microphone, and a generous offering of 8MB PS RAM, 8MB flash, along with an external SD card slot, all this is available for just $14. Check out the description for more information. If you usually forget to water the plants on time or are worried about water wastage, then this smart watering system can help. It's an all-in-one solution made by Giovanni that first checks the soil moisture and displays the data on a dashboard. From this data, the automation system calculates the time to open and close each value to water the plants, thus avoiding water wastage. All this data can be viewed on the dashboard and can be varied if necessary. With this circuit board, you can control the state of four AC appliances using voice commands on Alexa. Turn off relay two. If the internet doesn't work, you can use these push buttons to control the relays manually. The ESP32 even remembers the last state of the relay in case of a power outage. There's no need to use any external power supply, as it has an onboard AC to DC converter that converts the AC mains to 5 volts DC output. A regulator IC then scales this voltage down from 5 volts to 3.3 volts, which powers the ESP32 and other components. So, if you're just starting your home automation journey, then this project can help you understand the basics and test your electronic skills. Maker Moikoi has made the smallest ESP32-based IoT button to control various appliances in his home. It can also be used as a mini development board because it comes with an FPC extension port. In this example, he demonstrates how he used it to send motion values from one Pico click to another and visualize them on an OLED display. In this tiny PCB, he connected a motion sensor and a voltage regulator. This board's connected to the first Pico click via a 10 mm FPC cable. The second Pico click is connected to an FPC connector and an OLED to display the motion values. After getting his hands on the new Arduino ESP32 board, Volos decided to make something new. First, he made a simple setup, where he varied the RGB parameters of his circular display. For this, he used three potentiometers, one for changing each color value, and the results were great. In the next setup, he used six push buttons to play the space shooter game. While playing, the round display gave him a better experience as compared to the square one. By the way, which one would you prefer? Tell us in the comments. This little device is a smart home automation kit equipped with a couple of cool features. It can detect intrusions easily, so by placing it on the ceiling, it can automatically turn the lights on or off when a person enters or leaves a room. It can also be used for other applications by adding the required sensors to the kit. If you're watching a movie or playing video games at home and someone rings your doorbell, then we know how inconvenient it can be to check who's at the door. But by adding this smart doorbell, you'll know who's at the door without even getting up from your place. However, with the addition of this smart doorbell, you can identify visitors without leaving your seat. When someone rings the doorbell, the camera captures an image of the person outside and sends it directly to your smartphone. You can then decide whether to grant them access or simply ignore them. It's the perfect solution to make those persistent door knockers wait a little longer. If you want to make your own AI camera, 
then make sure to try this project. Eric placed an ESP32 cam inside a cardboard box, a push button to capture the image, and a screen to view the captured image. But how does it tell the object details? So, first the ESP32 cam captures the image and uploads it to the Node.js server. It then calls the Google Vision API to get an image annotation. Once the object's identified, the image is returned to the ESP32 cam via the same process. And with that, you can get the details of any object that you want. Sometimes it becomes frustrating while waiting for a mail or any parcel that you've ordered. And checking your mailbox again and again is not a practical option. In that case, you could use this mail monitoring system. As any package is dropped into your mailbox, a switch gets triggered. An ESP32 camera module will take a photo of the package, and that photo will be sent directly to your Telegram Messenger. The resolution of the picture is fine, which will aid you in distinguishing which parcels arrived. So guys, we hope you love these projects. We'll be back with some new ideas soon. Till then, goodbye!